Bubbly Bubblies, welcome back. Okay, guys, I just want to let you know we watched Hi Baba, Hi Nana, is it? Hi Nana, Hi, Hi Nana. Nana. Well, it's also called Hi Baba in Hindi. And yeah. just want to talk about it. Yeah, guys, uh, movie review, basically, that's what it is. Okay, uh, firstly, let me just say it's directed by Shuryuv and uh, it's starring Nani, Runa Thakur, and Shruti Hassan. Uh, yeah, watched this the other day, Netflix, and. Uh, Straight after. Because that's really weird, yeah, because I watched one movie and I come home and I watched a second. She went to watch Animal at the cinema and then she oh, came home wrong. and I was really wanting to watch um, this movie. I wanted to watch this for a long while as well, I have and to say. It seems amazing. So I wasn't sure if she was willing to watch another film after she watched Animal, but uh, she did. And I have to admit, I enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Thoroughly. Yeah. Um, just give you guys a little idea. I'm just going to read this. It's basically about a single father who begins to narrate the story of the missing mother to his child and nothing remains the same. That's what it was. Um, you know, so he's got a daughter who's, uh, I'll, I'll well, let you know. She's so adorable. She's really good, isn't she? So, so sweet. So good at acting. She's just so sweet. And yeah. acting of uh, Nani Amruna Takuru, uh, I mean, he and she, they played really, really well. well in the whole film. Mm. I, I think the story was, because, is it class? It was. It, it's not a romantic comedy or anything like. That. There, it wasn't funny at all. It's a, more like a drama, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'd say romantic so. drama. Would you say? Yeah. What, what's it classed on here? It doesn't say. Um, well, drama, family, romance. Yeah, okay. it is. It was like a basically. It's a twelve A certificate, by the way. But romantic, romantic drama. It, it, it was very emotional. I would say. Mm. Yeah? yeah. Songs were really fitting in the whole film. Yeah. Um. I just love the way he just told the story. I mean, you can always create stories between uh, two people who are in love and where their story goes. But this was like two separate tales. There was a tale between like a father and daughter, but there's also, like I said, this story that he was telling his daughter, who's got, was it 64 roses? 64 roses. S no, 64 <laughs> something like that. Yeah, it, it, she's got a disease. Um, it's pronounced. Um, S similar to yeah, that, so several uh, 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 fibrosis, something like that. Yeah, and uh, but they she they took to help her. They sort of like she because she was about six. She heard they it. they called she didn't know how to pronounce it, so she called it sixty four roses. But basically, she's got this illness uh, where she is isn't gonna live. I mean, you find that more or less the starting yeah, yeah. Uh, that she hasn't got a soul long to live. But she wants a story from her dad to tell her uh, about, about her mum, basically. Yeah. Uh, he's like stayed away from it as much as possible. And then uh, one day the time comes where they make a deal, uh, like a promise that if she gets a certain results in school, that he will tell her. He tries to get out of it, but circumstances that occur make him tell the story of how he met her mother. So, re so well thought of, because there's mm. so many things in there you would never have no. thought no, no. would have happened. So, really, really enjoyed it, because it's so different to what we've seen. And then it carries on to the point of not only how they got together, but how, obviously, she was born, and then uh, why her mother was not in her life. Um, I'm not going to say anything at the moment because, uh, but I'll tell you, everything, like I said, you felt for Nani, you felt for Muruno Takur, you felt for... Um, you hated certain people in there. Yeah, yeah there's the characters in there, characters you saying, well played the by them, fair plays on but their character. What kind of person is this? The, like, the roles that they played. As a mother, yeah, it's just unreal. You didn't know where it was going to go, and you didn't know so how people were going to get there. together. Yeah, there's also surprises there. twists. You yeah, you wouldn't realise who certain people were until the ending, and you're like, huh? Twists and turns and stuff like that. Like, a twist near the end that even so made good. even more. Again, yeah. you just made, God, the writer and director. Wow. Sort of. You know what? You could have just had it, like, you know, like, having a simple kind of story, but making it in the way that you can make it just shows mm -hmm. how good anything can become if you just basically, you know, put your heart into it. Mm -hmm. And this is what it is. It's not a complicated story, but it's the way it's been told is actually enjoyable. But like I said, more emotional, more, you know, yeah. you feel for people. Yeah. Yeah. You want things to happen and you don't know what's going to happen. You hurt, you get tearful. Even the songs, the lyrics go with what's going on yeah. that you just go, oh my gosh, you know what? This song is relatable to what's happening. 
again everything i enjoyed about it i fully recommend i am going to go into the spoilers um is i think there's not much no no here right i'm gonna oh, go okay i'm gonna go in the spoilers okay where are you <laughs> that's what i said i'm not doing another one but i just thought okay firstly i was just gonna say to the people who haven't seen it yeah. do watch it it is enjoyable honestly it doesn't seem like it drags or anything like that every character you will like um the ending you're just glad uh, it's enjoyable i mean some people i mean part of you know what probably will happen but it doesn't ruin the film kind yeah. of thing uh but like i said there's a twist that makes it even more good mm. um yeah so yeah that's my first take spoilers this is about this is about spoilers this this yeah, really, there is, but really. this is the part this I find spoiler. it hard because I, I want to talk about it okay, spoilers. Like, how Come you on guys then. what actually happened. Go on then, spoiler. Go, go. Guys, okay, what we're going to do is we're gonna just going to do a spoiler now. So if anyone hasn't seen it, honestly, go and watch it. Uh, and for the people who have, then, um, you know, it doesn't matter. So this is what we're going to... Spoiler. Go. Like, you know, what is it that you enjoyed the most about it without thinking and worrying about what anyone like you know what what is it that caught you or what did you like what didn't you i think one thing i really enjoyed about it is it's one of those ones you don't really have to take so seriously you know you just want to unwind and it's not so it's so easy just to watch simple um and the, the twists in it um the emotion that the it's very heart touching there's so many little things especially when you've got a kid involved in it as well who's yeah. got an illness and then she no longer has a mom around and she, you know you can feel the pain for her as well and then you've got the father who obviously is trying to bring her up do everything you know to keep her safe and you know he she means everything to him but yeah obviously he's broken as well um that i think is just really beautiful like the way it was sh they were showing those kind of little their, their bond and stuff so it was lovely but the i was gonna say but you know obviously you discover that first spoiler Bruno Taku, yeah even though they they she's part of the story that you know her daughter was basically every time he told her a story she wanted to picture someone that she knew to play the characters mm. in the story that is telling so dad would be the king or the prince and she would be the princess or whatever it might be so this time when she was finally gets her dad to tell the story she meets uh Bruno who saves her from getting knocked over and she tells her everything that she's had a row with her dad he's supposed to tell her the story about mum which he doesn't do finally they both decide to convince uh, him to tell the story and she said who should I sort of picture as my mum and she Maroon Taco, who is a friend now, she ends up picturing her as being the mum. She just says, stick to me. So you okay, and as you get to know, without us like going into a story, you know what I mean? And you find out what, how they got together, what their circumstances were. She was rich, he was poor. People didn't want them together. Well, the mum didn't want them together, the girl's mum. Uh, but they still, they got, formed their relationship. They got together, had a child, child who had an illness. But it's the discovery afterwards of who her real mum was. Mm. Did you know up until that point? I didn't. I okay. Didn't at all, no. And then, how, what did you feel when you found out who the real mum is? And here's the, who the real mum is. Who's the real mum? Uh, the the mum is actually the girl who's in Marina Taku. Is that Marina Taku? Yeah, Marina. she's the real mum, and it's nice because you can see that she really already. She you could see she felt something. They didn't her. know, but there was know. there was that you know that. You know, like they say, love doesn't really die, doesn't it? And she felt something for her anyway, just from the moment she probably had met her. So, yeah, it was lovely to see that it was her and the bond that they already already started having as well, and the fact that the kids already pictured her as well. You know, and it becomes more real, doesn't it? And her being present in her life. It's because she had lost her memory, and uh, and not only did she had lose her memory. There was people obviously her mum was interfering in their life mm. so at the point where she that left the really memory me off. the mum was, was horrible. horrible like you think is there people like this out there like... i mean she, she went through childhood trauma in the sense that her parents were divorced and uh, he nanny's character lived with his father and obviously his daughter daughter who had an illness and he was taking care of her he had a good support network he had a good mm. friend as well mm. who was there but then obviously you find out Maruna Taku was the mum who lost her memory and you find out why she wasn't in the life, which is basically this mum who interfered in everything. Uh, you know, it's horrible. Because she was quite distraught when she found out that her daughter, when she was born, had this rare illness mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, you know, she, it was hard for her to handle because 
was her upbringing, her childhood, which, you know, feeling pain and, you know, she didn't want her children to go through the same thing yeah, she did. Yeah. And, uh, but that's when Nani had to be strong and not only be there for her daughter, his daughter, but that mum sort of like convinced that, look, she didn't want to be with you. She wanted a divorce. She, she lied, didn't she? She lied. She lies lied. Loads of lies. Divorce and stuff as well. But clearly her, her memory starts coming back in some way. Ways that she Bits. Thinks that things that she does not back, but there's certain things she does <coughs> that she's questioning herself as well. Yeah. She was going to get married. But not only that, you can see even with her memory loss, she was like feeling for him as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. she's connecting like with him. That love, regardless of what people and everything else finds a way. Yeah. There's something. Yeah. Um, but yet, yeah, her life is going on another path where she's getting married to a person from a rich family, a doctor, who's nearly everyone he knows are doctors, but about their own hospitals. It was nice at the ending, even though the doctors, you thought, oh God, where's this going to go? But yeah. they did. So that was nice as well, because I didn't think, I, di I didn't think that would have happened. The doctors were the ones who were going to do what they did in the end. And I think the main thing for me, the twist, more than the, the, yeah, the actual twist. mother was... Get ready. <laughs> The one who's supposed to be his father, who's living with him, helping him with his daughter, is not actually his father. It's his father-in-law. And that was really, really sweet. That was the... Honestly... And he was such an amazing person in this... The character he played, the calmness, the way he was... The even, actor. Like, knowing he's married no, to this crazy-ass but... woman who's just evil, you know, who thinks highly and mighty of herself, ruined her daughter's life. Even then, up to the ending, how calm he was with her as well, just showed, like... I loved how he said to her, look, we may have failed as uh, a couple, yeah. but let's not fail as parents. Yeah, that was really Oh, cool. for, whoa. And honestly, it was like the, you know, you, saw, you, see, you know what was nice as well? That they didn't make him look old and frail, like you said. When yeah, you yeah, actually, he, he they didn't make him old and frail. I hate why that. Why do all parents have to look old and frail? They you know, not, no. Yeah. And I mean, mum wasn't old so and frail good. either, but he yeah. looked like he took care and that he was capable so. of like, you know. But it was just nice that he had made the choice and decision to look after his son-in-law and his granddaughter, yeah. you know, uh, when he didn't have to, he just moved and he just went, um, you know, and, and we he, didn't know that until then. If you, if you see, he didn't still make the, he didn't like go there and impose it, you know, well, he loves you, you've got to go back. He told, he made make your choice yourself, but I'm telling you, yeah. like, the way he did that. He was wrong. not controlling, yeah, he because, gave her the freedom and the independence to make her own but decisions. But she needs to see for herself and make Where her mum was totally opposite, she's making all the choices and decisions yeah. for her. You know, there's like the, yeah. the thing of two parents. But it was great. It wasn't just a relationship between father and daughter. It was a relationship between um, mother and daughter as well. Yeah. It was also a relationship between, uh, you know, the two main characters, Maroon Otaku and, uh, you know, together. Nani. You know, like how they got together, but how their relationship is still afterwards. Uh, why you know it what became like the way it was. Is that the fact that they didn't long it out. You know, when they got married, they got pregnant. Yeah. And then the situation that had happened that was very not like so long and deep out. It was still heart touching because you see those moments where she's on the floor and she's crying. She can't take it no more. It was like it wasn't long. The story yeah. wasn't long out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the other thing is, I shoot the son. Uh, just a quick brief. I think the director purposely put her in there because she only comes, even though it was like shown on trailer yeah. and all, all the captions in the yeah. you know titles and all that. I think it was deliberate. She comes for a song, but she's not even, well, she comes, he's a photographer and uh, he goes to Goa and he's got to do a, you know, photo shoot. She's in there for a second for the photo shoot, so yeah. you barely see her. But then a song comes right after. She's in the song, more or less the start of the song, and then obviously it yeah. changes to Maruna Takul. I think she was deliberately, her name and her were put in there, not because they needed her, mm -hmm. because it wasn't like a whole dance item number. No, no. I think they put it in to throw everyone off. Oh that when they were given the story of, you know, we're given the story about the mum, Runa Taku is just playing the character of the mum, that everyone assumed that sooner or later, Shruti will be like, you know, yeah. like I'm not saying, because you find out more or less near the start who mummy is, so we're not giving that away. But I think when you see the trailer and the name, everyone have the idea that Shruti is going to end up being the mum then. Yeah. You know, some way or the other, you're going to find out she's got, her role or character is quite big. But she wasn't. Mm. So I think it was just like to throw people off. And uh, honestly, but otherwise... I'm glad because I liked the, the 
um, main character the really did. She, she she's was good. Really, she really played good. really well. She's fab. And the fact that we saw her the following night, just yesterday night in something else again, it's so weird. Yeah. Um, and honestly, Nani done superb. Yeah. I tell you, I felt for that guy, that guy, I watched him in Jersey and he was awesome exactly. in there. But I tell you, I love the way that they changed his look when he was younger. How he was, then he got married and you could see his hair growing and he looked like a different character. And then all of a sudden he's there with his daughter, he was totally different. Mm. And you went, I love the way that he embraces the role and the character and becomes, you know, what he has to in all stages. Mm. And even the story, whilst it's in the, in the um, coffee shop, I loved how he starts in the daylight and you can see it's getting dark as the, you know, the stories continue. Mm. So those kind of attention or details do a lot for a film and a filmmaker i just think it, it's really good so well made so enjoyable mm. uh and like i said i don't know if you had tears in your eyes or nothing did you cry we had we were watching it in the dark i was i was a little like touched much, it, yeah. I, I i it was very uh, enjoyable for I me was and like, very what much part of it. india is this you know when, the, when they're the coffee said, shop i just thought it was so beautiful what side of india is this that some parts i've not seen obviously they went to goa and stuff or the coffee shop area and where the girl was walking on the street and I just like everything was so dressed even the was kutta just... was nice the puppy <laughs> and when it grew and yeah, yeah. Just I, I just away. i just loved it it was like you know you just were rooting for him you just wanted everything to work yeah, out from yeah, in that. every sort of you know like it's like I don't care what kind of person you are, when you're in that situation, you just root for people and the family to get together and be together. And you just want the horrible people to just flip in, you know Ouch. what, disappear and just leave, let people live, let people, you know, just make the most of their life. You're unhappy, you effed up things, you know, let other people sort their own life out, stop interfering and that ruining money it. Can buy you everything. Do, was she happy? Like no, she said and she her, said to her, She said to her, You've got all the money, but you're living alone. What, what, what makes you but happy? But yet they still feel that they know better, you know, and they don't. And I love that there's two characters, like a father and a mother, where the mother's situation and the way that she Thinking. thinks and makes happen and trying to tell her daughter or make a daughter or take control of her life. Yeah. And then you got a father who actually tells her the total opposite of like the choice is yours, yeah, the decision is right. yours, and that's what it shows. It does sometimes matter who your parents are and how they treat you, yeah. you know, to make the choices or they control whichever it is, and everything. Otherwise, everything was lovely. Honestly, fully Enjoy. recommend it, guys. It's on Netflix at the moment, so uh, do give it a watch. Uh, you you see, a good film. You won't be disappointed. No. And that was our review. Let us know if you want us to watch any more films or any other films you guys want us to review. And uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Bye.